there were certain circumstances where there was a talking at leaders rather than talking with leaders. Yeah. And so the fear created, it, it snowballed into this huge fear factor where it's like anybody was afraid, people were afraid to even talk about whatever practices they put in place or they were afraid to just speak their minds or speak their thoughts about what to do here out of fear of being seen as racist or as discriminatory or aligning to just discriminatory practices. So yeah. there took quite a, I mean, I've been here for six months and it took some time to really uh, build the relationships with the leaders to get them to say, you know, to open up. Yeah. Um, and that tends to be why organizations are fearful is because we've come in and, you know, you, we've used the term uh, dismantle, we use the term blow up, we use these terms that, yeah. that in, you know, that sound really good to us as DEI experts, because it means that we're really making an impact. But mm -hmm. one of the things that I think we have to recognize is those things that make us feel good as far as like, we're making a change, actually puts people further down the rabbit hole of not feeling like they understand exactly what it is DEI means. Yeah.